to go on a morning run. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> what? Farmer Bill dresses the ducks like superheroes. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's not good. I'm sorry guys, it's not good. I'm sorry guys, it's not good. It is. I can, I can face it. I can size it up. It's quite small at this point, but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. I guess I have imagined it. I've imagined it a lot, but not like this. It is fatal. It's different. It's only I thought I would sob uncontrollably or puke just right on the floor. I thought I'd shake or wail or something. I guess this is shock. Tragedy, he said. That's right. That's the perfect word for this. It's a tragedy. I wonder if he says that every time. He's crying a little. I love him for that. He's not callous. He's genuinely sad. She is too. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. We're very good at end of life care. We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. How long are we talking about? Prediction time again. No matter what I say, they'll wish it was longer. But sometimes, longer is worse. A few weeks to maybe four months. Is Nick crying? How long are we talking about? How am I going to hold it together now? A few weeks to maybe four months. I cannot cry. They shouldn't feel like they have to come back Monday and we can talk about palliative treatment. Palliative? Palliative is medicine you give at the end of life to improve the quality of life. Its goal is to treat the symptoms, but it, it, it can't cure Joel. 
we'll do a lumbar puncture and talk to our radiation oncologist to decide whether we could do some radiation or just chemotherapy. What would the radiation do? Well, the radiation could probably kill the tumor we see now, which would prevent it from causing any symptoms, but it would not keep more tumors from developing, because we know if it's spread here, it has spread other places too. So, the radiation would buy us some time? No, nothing will really buy us any time at this point. It just can make the time you have left more comfortable. So, we'll schedule you to come back in Monday, and we'll have some options for you to consider. We're so sorry. Oh, God, I do not want a replacement baby. If that was your plan, I am not on board. I don't want some new baby to help me move on. I would not have chosen this. Oh, God. Joel has to live, or I will not love this baby. You're welcome. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Emma? They've always been clear. Joel's got a recurrence of his tumor. Where is it? How big is it? Well, it's in the frontal cortex. And it's quite small at this point. But unfortunately, the size is not very important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy is failed. This is bad. With an ATRC, as soon as you have a recurrence of three times, it is fatal. It is only a matter of time before it's a great sub We've already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to keep the chemotherapy, but we know what we're looking for. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curious. I have so many things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go. I know we will be cured. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. As you ready for bed? Joel, lay down. Okay. 
Should we do a song? Uh, sure. Okay, uh, big boys, why don't you come in here and we'll sing the little the lullaby. I'm tired. <laughs> no, it's, it's bedtime. Ugh, okay. Uh, Elijah, lay down. Meg, did you even check in his mouth? Who's Joel? No. <laughs> Joel has chicken stuck in his cheeks from dinner. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Been in there for the last two oh. hours. I'm, okay, hold on, I'm trying. Uh, He's like, uh, Joel, ouch! <laughs> Stop! Did he just bite you? <laughs> yeah, I think. Ah, uh, I think he like just put too much in his mouth so he can't. He was well. just saving it for later, babe. Uh, like he needed a midnight snack. Hey, the little chipmunk. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. <sighs> Okay. A bigger version. <laughs> a big version of a little chip. <laughs> Do you guys remember when he couldn't even eat any solids? And he couldn't because he couldn't swallow. Do you remember that from the surgery? How it hurt his ability to swallow, so we had to give him bottles? Yeah, I remember one time we had pizza, so he chewed it all up and then spat it out everywhere. <laughs> so bad. What? I remember that. That was so gross, but he just wanted to try things so bad. He wanted to taste them. He wanted to be like you guys. He got to taste foods. He loved to eat, and I remember all I wanted was to him for him to be able to kind of eat like a normal kid and have normal things. I thought he'd never be able to swallow normal food, but then he did. know that's kind of why we're packing up everything is because if the trial works really well then maybe we'll stay in California for a really long time like as long as it keeps helping Joel then we want to stay and do the best we can for him and stay there where he's getting help but if the medicine starts to not work as soon as it's not helping him I promise we'll come back home uh, are we going to Disneyland yeah of course what do you think Kayla you okay with leaving for so long excited, but I'm kind of not. I mean, I think it'll be fun, but I just don't like missing school. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're the only eight-year-old to ever... <laughs> That's amazing. I hate to miss school, huh? Uh, but, like, why? Well, I just hate having all that homework that I have to do. Oh. Her expectation is so maddening sometimes. You know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. <sighs> And yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord, replete with presents and supernatural miracles. <sighs> I envy her. Hop in bed, boys. Let's go. Boys, get in bed. Oh, can you at least tell us a story? Ah, uh, um, sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight named Joel. Joel the baby knight? Yes, Joel the baby knight. But he's also Joel the very brave knight. And he was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Because of his tumor? Mm-hmm. Where does the dragon live? Um in a forest.
Is the dragon big? Very big. Does the dragon breathe fire? So much fire, you guys. So, Joel has armor, like a sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave Sir Joel with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and his super jumping ability was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh... He also has grace. That's not a superpower. <laughs> it's the best superpower. Do you guys know how grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yeah, it's kind of like help. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. You know, some very brave knights have fought this dragon and lost. And some are able to drive the dragon off. And they can go home and they can quit fighting for a while. And the kingdom is... Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time, huh? A long time. But Joel found a nice empty cave where he could rest. And it seems like the dragon couldn't find him. But just when he thought that the danger was past, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. Well, that dragon's going to kill Joel. Joel's going to lose. Why do you say that? Because Joel is just a baby. Baby can't kill dragon. God fights for Joel. So he fights that dragon cancer right with Joel. And we know that God can win even if Joel can't. That's grace. Cancer. Wasn't God fighting for him? Didn't he have him? Of course God fought for Tim too. Tim fought so well. He was so brave and so strong. God let him rest. It may have seemed like the dragon won because Tim died. We know that Tim's in heaven and that he's with God and that God is so proud of him. So maybe for Tim getting to be done fighting was good. 